What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'll show you how to play Stay Alive by BDS Jungkook and uh, it's produced by Suga. So, no capos transitioning. I'll just show you the main finger picking riff which starts at the beginning of the song and ends somewhere and then we have some strumming which will last for the whole song and you have it. So, easy song. I'll provide you with the tabs. So, first let's have a quick look at the main chord shapes. First chords are D minor, meet me to open 2nd, 3rd, 1st. Then we have a C major which will be mute 3 to open 1st open. Then we have a G minor chord uh, which I like to play like this. Or you can even play like this which is a lot more easier version. I have my all the 4 fingers on 3rd fret of E, D, G and B. And the last chord is the one which is actually a bit bad and it's B flat. So you hit the top E string, it's actually muted. So you hit it, but still it's muted. You got one on A, and your third fret on DGB. So that's how you play it, right? And uh, what else? Ah, uh, last chord, mute, mute, open, second, first, first, D minor seven, which we'll use for the strumming part. Now, the riff goes like this, and this one specific pattern. So you can actually use your fingers, which I did for the uh, demonstration, but right now I'm playing with the plectrum. So it's up to you, you can do finger picking or you can even just use a plectrum. Now I hold the D minor chord shape and do this. D, G, B, G. So that's the first part. D, G, B, G. And then we play E, B. So we have. And make sure you go for down, up, down, up, down, up. And notice a slight pose. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Yes, so we got. Likely same for the C major chord. What we do over here is we hold the C major over here and we play A, then G, B, G, E, B. So it's kind of the same thing, we just change the bass note to third fret on the A string. Then we go to B flat chord and the pattern actually changes. So you can hold it anyway. So I hit the A string, the D string, the G string, the D string, then B G. So we got A D G D and then A D G D B G. So remember, it's B G, not E B. So we have A D G D B G. And same for the G minor seven chord, but we'll just hit the top E string third fret, and uh, we have. By the way, if you use a plectrum, you just get a li little bit more sharp sound and if you use your fingers, you just get a bit more soft, a uh, bit soothing sound. So here we go, D minor. And finally we have uh, the strumming part. Uh, what I do like to do over here is just replace the D minor chord with a D minor 7. Sounds a lot more better. Then we have the normal C. Then we got the B flat. And if you can, you can play it like this. And same goes for the G minor chord. If you can, you can just play it like this. Uh, you just bar the whole third fret and fifth fret on the E string. Otherwise, uh, we are left with this one. But make sure you mute the high E string when you play in this way. So we got down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So we have. That's the whole song. So I hope the video helps you out. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, you should do so. It helps me out a lot. Uh, and also, drop me one of these. It actually looks really good on a video. And it also promotes this video to other people. That's how the YouTube algorithm works and so on. So make sure you like. And I'll just cover other BD song uh, by any other artist you want. So that's it. Bye.